All right, now most of the Samsung Galaxy Watch users out there are already aware that the standalone WhatsApp application is now available in beta version on the Galaxy Watch. I posted a video regarding this a few days ago in which I demonstrated how exactly you can install the beta version of WhatsApp application on your Galaxy Watch. If you have missed it, go ahead, check the video out. I have left a link in the description as well as in the comment section. Now in this video, I just wanted to discuss about this application on the Galaxy Watch, how it works, what are the features available currently on this application on the watch whether it is any good. So let's go ahead and check this out. Now after you install WhatsApp application on the watch the app icon gets added to the app tray. As you can see we have the icon here. For some reason the resolution of this icon is kind of low. <laughs> Maybe it's in beta so the resolution is low on this icon. Let me open this now. As you can see we get all the conversation which you have on the WhatsApp application on your phone. Of course the app gets synced with your phone and the same contents will be displayed right here on the watch. Now, if you have an LTE variant you may be able to use the WhatsApp application using the carrier network you have got on the watch which means you will have WhatsApp accessible right from your wrist instead of syncing it with the phone. That's a great news for the LTE watch users out there. Now coming back to the application as you can see the interface is very simple. We have the list of chats. At the end we have got load more option. Just in case if you want to see the previous conversation or previous chats you can tap on load more to get more chats here. Then we have settings and open on phone option. Let me tap on settings. Let's see what we have here. It just shows my contact number and profile image. It shows the security notifications when you enable it. Then we've got logout option and then we can see the version number of this beta app. Now let me open a chat here. As you can see all the conversations are right here. We can see the image file here but we cannot really open it to see the entire image. You will be seeing this cropped image here and the video files are unsupported at the moment. Let me just send a video file from another number. As you can see it says message unsupported. So the video messages are not supported as of now. Probably in the future we will get that option as well. Now at the bottom for this conversation we can reply using the keyboard. As you can see I can open this keyboard and expand it to use the voice dictation option, handwriting option, smileys as well as QWERTY keyboard here. Apart from this we can also send a voice memo here. As you can see we have got this icon by tapping on which we will be able to send the voice memo. It says tap to record. Tap on this and record your voice and tap on send. I think on the watch this voice memo will be really handy instead of typing it on this tiny screen we can quickly send a voice memo from the watch. Now coming to the video calls or voice calls we don't really have an option right now. We can't make a video call or a voice call on this beta version of WhatsApp on the watch. Probably in the future we will get more updates and we will get more features as well on this beta version. I will keep you guys posted about it so be sure you subscribe to the channel. Now apart from this uh, let's see what else we have got with this app. We do get two different tiles which can be set on the watch. As you can see we have got this chat tiles. Uh, we can set five different contacts for this using which we can access a particular favorite contact very easily from here. Then we have got this second tile which is for voice messages. We get three contacts here and we also have got this more option when you tap on this it will directly take you to the application from where you can choose the contact and send the messages. As of now these are the features we have got on WhatsApp beta on the Galaxy Watch. That is all I wanted to share with you guys as and when we get the update and get new features on this application I'll keep you guys posted. Hope you have already subscribed to the channel and give this video a like if you find this informational. Thanks for watching my name is Salian signing off. Cheers bye bye.